my husband and I love to entertain. We enjoy having guests over where he can showcase his talent by playing piano and singing. And I get to showcase my culinary creativity with appetizers. We did this on one occasion and I'm gonna show you in this video the appetizers I whipped up. Starting with these Greek feta lamb meatball bites. I start with two pounds of ground lamb. I get my lamb from Aldi. I just love their lamb products. They just have a great variety. And I'm using two pounds. The recipe calls for one, but I'm doubling since I'm having a party. I'm adding two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, one teaspoon of onion powder, as well as a sprinkle of salt. Not too much salt as your feta can be a little salty and we don't wanna have over salted meatballs. I'm gonna mix this by hand and then I'm gonna add the seasonings again since I did double the recipe. Now I'll add my one cup of crumbled feta cheese as well as 12 ounces of frozen spinach that I have completely defrosted and I've thoroughly squeezed to get all the water out. I'll combine that by hand and then set aside as I'm ready to make our little muffin cups. So I'm starting with a package of crescent roll dough that I've already separated into two sections and I've rolled it out into 10 by 8 inch rectangles. Now I'm ready to make my little circles. I have my lemon juicer here that is the perfect 2 inch circle size. So I'm going to go ahead and press those out. You can use any cup or bowl you have to get the two inch perfect circle size. Just be sure to use some flour on your surface. This will help prevent any sticking and easy removal of the dough. Using my medium scoop from Pampered Chef, I'm going to add one dollop of the meat mixture to each of the muffin cups and then I'm going to bake this in a 375 degree oven for about 15 minutes. When they're done cooking, I'm gonna add a dollop of tzatziki sauce on top. Now you can make your tzatziki from scratch, but I take a shortcut from Aldi. They have this tzatziki cucumber dill yogurt sauce that goes so great with these meatballs and just a dollop on top is perfect. You can also use ground beef or ground turkey if you do not like lamb, but my guests love these, as did I. They were delicious. Up next, we're gonna make these sausage antipasto skewers. I'm slicing up two packages of Italian sausages, one hot sausage and one sweet Italian, and I'm putting them on my baking sheet. I'm gonna put them in the oven until completely cooked through, and then we're going to assemble our skewers. I have these toothpicks that are fancy. They have a little knot on top. You can use any toothpick. These were actually a little long, but I just cut them with my scissors and they were perfect. So now we're gonna assemble our skewers. It's a fresh basil leaf, then a sun-dried tomato, a roasted red pepper, an artichoke heart, and then we'll end it with with that sausage bite and that way they can stand upright. I'll keep continuing this process, getting them all put together and then you can easily store this in a container overnight to prep these in advance. When making appetizers for a party, I really like to have different color variations as well as height variations. So these skewers were perfect because they offer both and they are going to display so beautifully on this white pedestal. They also provide another protein option that doesn't include cheese. A lot of times appetizers include a lot of cheese, especially in those dips and spreads. And so this one doesn't have any cheese, which is perfect for your dairy-free guests. Our next appetizer does, however, include cheese, and it is going to be these chicken pesto sliders. We are gonna start with the butter mixture we will spread on top, which includes five tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of minced parsley, and a sprinkle of salt. We will put that in the microwave until completely melted. It will go on top of our Hawaiian rolls, as well as be brushed on our brioche rolls, which I did also get from Aldi to have a little variety. I'm splitting my rolls down the middle horizontally so I can work with them in sections and I am going to start with our first layer which is pesto. Now you can make homemade pesto but for these I have two brands that I really like which is the Rayos and we also love our Vince's from the farmer's market. So I'm going to spread that out on all the rolls and now I'm going to add our rotisserie chicken. I get our chicken from Sam's when I'm going to do this for a party because they are the biggest and the most flavorful and juicy. I'm just going to shred all the meat off of the bone and then I'm going to stack that onto our sliders. On top of that I'm going to add our mozzarella cheese. You can use any cheese blend but mozzarella shredded cheese goes really well with the pesto and the chicken on this and then just to give it additional flavor I am going to add the pesto on the other side of the rolls. 
I'll now spread my butter mixture along the tops and sides and then I will put it into a 375 degree oven covered for 10 minutes and then uncovered for another 10. In hindsight, I would serve this with ranch or add mayonnaise to have it just a little less dry, but they were still delicious. Our next recipe is a dish that was the first to disappear and it is this shrimp scampi dip. We're gonna start by prepping our shrimp. I got a large bag from Sam's and this is a great shortcut. They already came peeled and deveined. All I had to do was rinse them and get them defrosted and then get them completely dry and then chop them up into a nice fine dice. This is a great step to do ahead and then the day of the party you'll prepare your dip which starts with one tablespoon of butter. We'll melt that over medium high heat with one tablespoon of minced garlic or four garlic cloves. We'll add our chopped shrimp and this is in my everyday rock crock pan by Pampered Chef and then add a fourth a cup of white wine. Then we will add our lemon juice. This is half of a lemon and we'll add a half a block of cream cheese, a quarter cup of sour cream in addition to a quarter cup of mayonnaise. We'll stir all that until everything gets nice and melted. Once heated through, we'll add two tablespoons of minced parsley and then we'll add our mozzarella shredded cheese and we'll stir that up and get that melted and combined. Look how cheesy and delicious this is looking, but not enough cheese just yet. We're gonna add a quarter cup of Asiago cheese shredded, and then we're going to add more on top. Now this cheese, we're not gonna blend in. We're gonna leave it on top and put it into our broiler, and that way that high heat will make a nice golden cheesy crust on top. You can serve this straight from your everyday pan with some crostinis on the side. Once again, this was definitely a crowd favorite. It was a great night of food and fun and friends and music, and we had such a great time. I know we'll be doing these events in the future, so be sure to like and subscribe so you're notified of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.